For a disabled person, sometimes the simplest things in the world can be quite difficult to perform, not least when you've got to get in the bath. I'm joined by uh, Rachel Seabrook here, who is an occupational therapist. Now, you've got a very interesting gadget for us here that's battery operated, if I'm not rightly mistaken. This is called a, a Nouveau bath lift, and it's right. designed to help lower you into the bath and get you out of the bath without any accidents. Now, this is a battery operated piece of equipment. It's not required that you've got to plug it into the mains. No, it isn't. The battery is, is housed in the top here. It's very easy to take in and out. And uh, it also, if it's about to run out, it gives you an audio alert and will give you a sign as well right. if it's about to run out. And it won't lower you down into the bath if it's not got enough charge to get back up again as well. So that's oh, well, that's good. Safety. What's the shelf life of this battery? How many occasions can you go up and down with the lift? It will give you an average of about 15 times that you can go up and down, but it will depend on how heavy you are, etc. But generally speaking, an average of about 15 times you can lower. Right. And then when you need to recharge it, you just plug it into a separate um, socket outside of the bathroom. Yeah. Well, the battery certainly seems very accessible, no messing about with it. Yeah. Give us a demonstration. Show us just okay. how easy it is to use, if you would, please. So if you're having problems getting in and out of the bath, we generally advise people to sit at the side like this yeah. and shuffle themselves back into the middle of the seat. And then uh, often people will have a grab bra on the side of the bath or you can use the handles on your bath. Um, lift your legs over the side like so. Make sure you're nice and comfortable and you feel safe. And then it's simply a question of just... You don't have to put much pressure on this button, but just literally press the button and it will start to slowly uh, lower you. And is it safe to use the remote control in the bath? It's completely safe. If you drop it or you have it in the bath, it will float and it's completely sealed, so it's no problem about that getting wet at all. Okay. Moves at a fairly reasonable pace as well, so it's not plunging you straight in. No, is it? and it's not jolty, it's nice and comfortable and smooth, and it gives you time to put your legs out in front of you to begin stretching out in the bath right. if you need to. That's when you reach the bottom of the bath, and you're yeah. about uh, 10 centimetres from the bottom of the bath there, okay. so you can have a nice bath in that position. Or if you want to be uh, more comfortable and recline back a bit and have a relax, you can keep your finger on the button. And this bath lift has got a unique feature in that the base tilts. So if you're likely to slip forward off a seat when it was wet, uh, this tilts to prevent you slipping forward and reclines you back so you can have a nice right. relax in the bath and have a wash. And relax is definitely the word. Now I'm sure you'll agree that's a piece of kit that would make bath time a whole lot easier.